Good afternoon, YouTube. Thank you for joining me in another edition of Southern Santa Piper. I'm your host, Kenny. And today we are smoking this new pipe that I just received yesterday. And it is the K. Woody Saxon. Gorgeous pipe. I'm gonna have to tell you a little bit of story about this one. Let's get it lit up first though. Mm. I'm smoking one of my favorite tobaccos as a way to kind of judge this, which is Northwoods. Mm. Just absolutely lovely tobacco. And so far, so good with the pipe. Already had a char. Mm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, let me tell you a little bit of a story about this pipe. So, I have a friend of mine that I discuss pipes with on a regular basis. I shouldn't say I have a friend of mine that I discuss pipes with on a regular basis. I have several friends of mine that I discuss pipes with on a regular basis. And as a result of, um, of a conversation one day, I had been complaining to them that I had been looking for a K. Woody, one of the new ones, for a while, because I had kept seeing pictures of these Saxons. And it's like, dude, you know how much I love Sandblast. Y you know, I, I need one of these. And he said, oh, I thought I told you. Told me what? Yeah, I sort of know the guy who, who runs that. So he had dropped Bill a note and said, listen, next time you run a production before you send any out, can you keep one off the side for, for, for my buddy, uh, Kenny? And he did. So my buddy, uh, had uh, seen him, and uh, they were getting together for, I think, a few cocktails, and he had said, oh, before you leave, I got that pipe for Kenny, and my buddy was like, great, how much do I owe you? You know, I'm going to get this as a gift for Kenny, which I thought was really cool, and uh, I don't know, I don't know Bill from, from, from Adam. And Bill's are, don't worry about it. Tell Kenny it's from me. Well, that is one of the most generous things anyone's ever done. Just giving me a free pipe. It's just... So, in all full disclosure, I did not pay for this pipe. But that is not going to change my first impressions on this today. But I can tell you my initial first thoughts is, what a lovely pipe. Now... Let me light this back up and let's start talking about this one a little bit. And Bill, if I mess up your last name, um, please forgive me. I'm terrible at pronunciations of last names, but it's Bill Feuerbach. Feuerbach. I think that's correct. I'm sure I'm going to find out from uh, some mutual friends. Um, God, I love Northwood. So my first impressions when I got this, uh, got this, and it was packed up uh, nice by a friend. It did not come in a box or a sock, but I wouldn't expect it as much. This pipe, brand new in most retailers, is under $47. Uh, one of the retailers has it for $43.19 when you can find them in stock. They're so popular, and at this price point, they sell out well, and you can see why. Mm. 
Well, easy draw. Mm. It smokes as well as any of my really good pipes. All good pipes should smoke well. So I don't care if it's an Ashton, if it's a Dunhill, if it's a Peterson, if it's a Salvinelli, if it's a Merchant Service. Charlton, a K. Woody, a Dr. Grabo, doesn't make a difference. They should always smoke well, and this one's smoking extremely well. So this smokes as well as any of my good smoking pipes, pipes that I want to smoke in my rotation. But I was blown away by this pipe when I opened up the box. I mean, the blast on this, guys, this blast is insane. I've posted some, or I will be posting when I edit this video, some pictures of it, both sides of the pipe. One side's got this crazy ring grain, and this side is going to be hard for the camera to pick up because it kind of just looks like a moon rock. But if you look real closely on this, it is mostly bird's eye, and it's... It's a uh, bird's eye blast, which gives a totally different look. So you got some bird's eye there. Um, it says K. Woody, Saxon. It's got the beautiful K. Woody logo done up in silver, I believe. Where's that white? Hard, for, hard with my vision to, and under this light to tell. It looks like silver, but it could be white. Mm. It's just a lovely, lovely pipe. So, these pipes all day long in this line, in the Saxon line, I can't speak for the rest of them. Uh, Immediately, I started looking up K. Woody's because I don't have any K. Woody's in my collection. I've got some gray bows, but I don't have any K. Woody's. And it's part of the reason I wanted one of these new ones because I don't have any vintage K. Woody's. Figured, you know, let me start off with some new K. Woody's and then I might start going into some vintage ones if I find some that I like. Um, and the first time I had run across these Saxons, excuse me, I had done a search for sandblasted K. Woody's, and this came up, and I was like, holy mother of God, they make a new pipe with a gorgeous blast. Mm. It's got a pre-carbonized bowl. Um, I should have brought a pipe cleaner in here. I was able to pass a pipe cleaner through it. Drilled nicely. I think I packed this one a little too tight because I was a little anxious. Really anxious on this pipe. I wanted to try it out since I had it last night. It's like, oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I do the video and have a real first impression of it in front of everyone in front of the camera. And if I liked it, great. If I didn't like it, well, that's okay too. Um, not everybody's going to make a pipe that I like. There's some big pipe manufacturers that you guys have seen me get happy about that uh, everybody loves their pipes, but I'm one of the ones who don't. So, names of the companies and their price points mean nothing to Southern Santa Piper. What matters is draw, how well it smokes, how hot does it get? You know, when a pipe's not broken, how hot is it getting? I smoke like a chimney pretty frequently. I don't want a pipe where the bowl is going to get too hot. Mm. 
Mm. Beautiful. But I was kind of shocked to find out that Bill has his, these production lines of pipes, his normal K Woodies. He also, uh, uh, Yellow Bull, Medico are the other ones that uh, his company does. SM Frank. So it's uh, K Woody pipes, Yellow Bull pipes, Medico pipes, and then there's accessories under both of those. Um, let's see. I can tell you as far as retailers go. Retailers are, and I gotta, I gotta throw these guys out first, only because they were my first exposure to K Woody's, and they do such a great job. And that would be GreyWoody.com, and uh, everything I see, I've seen nothing but praise for Gray Woody. So, would highly recommend. Um, I'm also going to throw out West Virginia Pipe Shop, and I'm going to throw that out because. Even though I was born and raised in Chicago, all my family comes from West Virginia, and uh, um, those are good guys there. They are honest guys. Um, Cigars International, Four Noggins, Parkling Tobaccoist, uh, Pipes and Cigars, they sell them as well. Um, as far as uh, others, um, I know that I have seen these up at Briar Blues as well, but not the Saxon line. It's handmade lines. Um, they also have the handmade lines up at West Virginia Smoke Shop, which I believe is one of their exclusive all-line dealers. Pipes and Cigars, I've only seen their standard line, the Saxon line, and I think that's it currently. They used to have their Berkshire line, I believe it's called. Um, but West Virginia Smoke Shop, let me do a quick click on here. The advantage, and this will be one of the advantages of when I'm in my man cave, but right now I pull, pull this out here, is that uh, I'm able to pull up some stuff for you guys, get you some quick information. Yeah, they are an exclusive full line K. Woody retailer. West Virginia Smoke Shop, and uh, they've got K. Woody's, they've got Dr. Grabo's, they've got Medico's, they got Yellow Bowl, uh, Bowls, they got Dr. Grabo's under, I do not know if that's part, I don't see that on their website, so I don't think that Dr. Grabo is part, I could be wrong, but they've got them listed in the same area here. Um, but these are just Beautiful, beautiful pipes. Let's take a look. I am kind of curious to see what they've got. Out of stock, super grain. Let's see, Saxons. They are out of the Saxons. And here we go. They got plenty of the K. Woody handmade pipes. And wow, these things are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. But I would definitely give these retailers a, a shot, especially if you're looking for something unique. If their custom pipes are of any indication of this, they're going to be phenomenal. They're going to be more than phenomenal. Mm. Absolutely beautiful smoking pipe. And again, I can't help but stress this. This is $47. Let's go to another retailer. Let's see what pipes and cigars have. No, I don't need to put this there. You guys have all my info. Let's put in K. Woody. K. Woody Pipes. And they've got three lines up there, not two, I was wrong. 
They've got their standard, their Berkshire, um, and their Saxon, which is what this is. Uh, looks like they've got 13 pipes available of the Saxon series, 20 options of the Berkshire, and 15 of the standard. I don't know if all those are in stock. Um, let's see if they got this pipe. This pipe, as of right now, this would be a full bend. As large as that. Here we go. Full bent billard, extra large with taper. $43.19, and they are out of stock. That's what I would assume this one would be, is their full, and I think they've got a medium as well. Um, they do have the full bent billard large with the saddle bit. Good looking pipe, just like this, but with the saddle bit. Saddle bits for us denture wares are actually easier. This one, for me to grip, I'm going to have to put a softy on it. In other words, it starts not wanting to hang right for me. But uh, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous uh, pipes. And it looks like everything in that series of this series, the Saxon, at Pipes and Cigars, $43.19. So... You guys tell me what pipe that you can think of brand new is going to cost you $43.19 that looks as good and has an open draw. I can't think. And American made. These are made here in the good old USA up in New York. Used to be a local connection. I'll call it the local connection. Kate Woody had a factory for these for years down in the Tampa area. And then they relocated their production to uh, New York. S.M. Frank and Company. Uh, I've got to give these guys a thumbs up. Drinking some black tea today. Irish breakfast tea. Brewed strong. It's two bags I use. Mm. Get trying to get this lit back up. And uh, I will be giving a future follow-up on this once I've I've given it some time to break in some and given it some proper smokes and running it through with all my tobaccos. And see how I like it, watch tobaccos I like most. Some pipes I like more, some tobaccos in more than others, which may sound weird to you guys. Certain shapes seem to do it for me. Generally, Vents do well with English ones for me. Really any billard shape. I mean, all a vent is is typically a billard that instead of having a straight drink has a bend on it. The Pipe Smoker's Paradox. I'm going to keep this damn thing lit. There you say have that as a bumper sticker at one of the smoke shops I went to, Sir Timothy. You could get it as a bumper sticker. I think they had it as a keychain. And I don't remember the exact phrasing on it, but it was something along the lines why, why do pipe smokers always look like they're in deep thought? And it was like, because we're trying to keep. Figure out how to keep the damn thing lit. 
bad paraphrase. Couldn't give you the exact phrase. But they had bumper stickers, they had the t-shirts. On a pipe I know well, that I've smoked many times, every pipe to me packs slightly different, even when they're similar shapes. Once I've learned my that particular pipe well, and I find a tobacco or several tobaccos that seem to work well with that pipe, I stick with those tobaccos in that pipe. And then you uh, tend not to have to have a lot of relights. Once you get used to a tobacco on a pipe, it's not common to, uh, for most guys, I think, to try to pick pipe and tobacco. It's not at least from the conversations I've had with some guys. I think many guys think uh, a pipe should be able to smoke everything. And I'm in disagreement with that. And I think part of that, again, is just from being a guitar player. You know, I've got certain guitars that I like for certain styles of music more. I like certain guitars for certain sounds and even certain songs within the same band. I mean, you know, if I'm playing anything off Led Zeppelin 1, well, I really don't want a Les Paul, even though Jimmy Page used a Les Paul live when he recreated most of those songs. He recorded them on a Telecaster, and I, I, I want a Telecaster if I'm playing songs off Led Zeppelin 1. Mm -hmm. The same token, if I'm playing uh, stuff that I want to have kind of that li uh, live Zeppelin sound for my song remains the same. I know I've got to have a Les Paul with with a uh, 1970s uh, pickup in the bridge and a PAF in the neck, or at least a good PAF clunk. It's funny how many of us guys ripped our pickups out of 70s Les Pauls, just replaced them with the Marzios and other brands. And now guys are looking for those old 70s pickups. T tops. They were short bar El Nico 5. So for any guitar geeks out there, there's a few builders who will build you a T-top clone. I had one built by special request by a company by the name of Planet Tone, who is a phenomenal pickup builder for prices that are in the same ballpark is buying like a Simmer Duncan pickup, so its prices aren't expensive at all. They're very reasonable. Um, custom prices at a production price, or custom pickups at a production price. But back to pipes. I'm always amazed for guys who kind of down production pipes and they only want to smoke handmade pipes or really expensive pipes. It's like, you do realize, guys, the majority of the pipes most of you are out there smoking are production pipes. Most of the Petersons that are out there, most of the Savinelli's that are out there that are everybody are smoking, those are all production pipes made in a factory. But I would argue, what difference does it make if I've got a drill press and I'm doing this with a lever and I'm drilling out the center of a bowl, or whether I do this and hit a button and a machine comes down and drills the center of a bowl, it's the same difference. It still takes a human element. There is no machine in the world that is going to 100% start and finish this pipe. There's going to be lots of things in this pipe which is still handmade. The difference is that they can make a lot more production pipes in a day than they can handmade ones. So as a business model, I can't see, I can't see um, unless you're selling custom pipes for an arm and a leg, 
and many of you guys who do it are, but I get it, there's lots of hours in it, but I've also got that for some of them who are well experienced, not as many hours as uh, the prices would reflect. But that being said, um, I get the supply and demand and the price, but I'm looking at some of Bill's custom K Woody's and when I can get a custom pipe handmade for $215 from him, it's really hard for me to justify that from somebody else. And it's really hard for me to justify a production pipe for much more than this. I can't think of too many production pipes that I would recommend more than this one right now, if any. I can tell you that another brand I would still recommend is Rossi, who is made by Salvinelli. And they are a no frills, great pipe for not a lot of cash. But I still think they're more money than this. Hmm. Is this the best pipe I ever smoked? No. Being honest, not the best pipe I ever smoked. Best pipe I ever smoked. Mm, that's going to be a toss up. It is between my um, large merchant service Canadian and a pipe that's not here. It's uh, with Greg being repaired, which is my large or special merchant service pipe, which is their special, which is their large Bing. It's much larger than uh, the regular Bing. The regular is like a standard group four pipe and the large is probably closer to like a group six, even approaching like ODA. It's a nice size pipe and uh, really excited when I get that one back because I haven't smoked that one in a few months now. With this one going out, I think that is our call that this will be it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me every day. Uh, truly do love doing these, like talking about pipes. Please give me your suggestions. Um, I have decided to permanently now move my filming inside. I'm in my living room right now. You may get either in front of my pipes or you may get in front of some of my wife's Boston Terrier stuff, but it's gonna be in the living room at least a little bit longer. Um, probably I'm not going to even start anything in the man cave till I come back from Boston, which is until the 23rd of, of this month. And when I'm up in Boston, um, there's at least one tobacco shop. I'm going to go up there. So any suggestions you guys got and any specific tobaccos from any of the tobacco shops in Boston, please let me know in any of your comments. Again, thank you for joining me here on Southern Santa Piper, and you guys all have a great day today. Take care, everyone.